This is the cell pH balance, uh, total dissolved solids, and conductivity meter. Uh, so, I mean, it's a pretty nifty tool. Uh, so, never been used before. So, just showing you how it works, uh, showing you that it is effective and, and works, like it says. I went ahead and brought up here a total dissolved solids chart. We're going to be showing you the total dissolved solids first. And this is a chart showing you from the EPA basically. Uh, what we should be looking at here and these are the numbers parts per million that we'll be seeing so 0 to 50 is the acceptable limits from the EPA for how much solids parts per million should be in your drinking water so <clears throat> following our directions we have a protective cap here that we remove and you always want to just be protective here of your tips you know you do have a little bit of plastic here and uh, you, you just you don't want to drop this anywhere. You don't want to drop this completely in solution. Um, just just try to be protective. After you're done using it, uh, you want to you know try to dap out some of the uh, the water and let it dry before you put the cap up, cap back on to store. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna turn it on. We're already right now on the total dissolved settings. You can tell by the ppm reading that's the measurement right there it's also giving us a temperature as well that's real neat um, that's not normal and I do like seeing that that's nice so we can hit the shift button here and we can change to right here for EC that's to that's measuring the amount of salt the conductivity and we can push the shift button again and we're back to ppm but now we are in Celsius so shift again conductivity Celsius push it again now we're back to total dissolved solids Fahrenheit so when you're measuring it the hold button here you can see it you get your reading and you can push hold and it will hold the reading for you and won't go away when you pull it out just in case for some reason you're trying to reach down in a barrel or something you're just trying to measure maybe you have a well and you're just but you, if you're doing your measurement then once you believe you got it you can hit hold pull it out now you can tell what you had so that's, that's always a very nifty tool to have on. So now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do it here. We have, and let me get my chart up. And I just got this chart from tdsmeter.com. It's an EPA chart. This is Asheville City, Asheville, North Carolina. Acceptable PPM rating is zero to 50. And what's good is you don't wanna submerge too far and the slightly agitation motions pretty good to just to make sure you, you get a consistent reading and it looks like the reading here is 30 parts per million dissolved solid now ideally perfectly clean water is going to be very close to zero so this right here you know uh, Asheville is highly chlorinated and fluorinated uh, there's just a lot of chemicals because there's a lot of water getting reused here so they have to use extra chemicals so all right so let's go ahead and test <clears throat> the Berkey water this is a charcoal filter uh, using gravity feed and the this is the Asheville city water being used so we'll see how effective the Berkey meter is well look at that you know Berkey is pretty expensive and it's only knocked that down three three parts per million <laughs> so we <clears throat> perhaps we may want to reconsider it because it's probably all it's doing is managing to hide the uh, the smell and taste of the chemicals so might want to reconsider that. See, this is a great example of this tool and how it can be used. See, you know, in this in this city, you know, it's extremely chlorinated. It's not like that in all city. If you wanted to test that your filter is working for you, this is this is how you do it. You can use this meter to test. So this is this is a great example of why this tool is essential. All right, so we're going to go ahead and test spring water, which is from the next town over. It's about 40 minutes away, and this is natural spring water. And if you look at that, remember how I said zero is ideal for clean water? This is two parts per million. This has got, this has got no filter. This is nothing coming straight out of the ground in Marshall, North Carolina's mountain spring water, two parts per million. So this right here is, again, another great example. We have extremely high dissolved solids in the city water and in this spring water showing us just how important it is to make sure you got a clean water source. So, and again, it's zero to 50. 50 is the maximum rating uh, that the EPA allows and that's not, not meaning that it's safe, it's, it's meaning that it's the most they will accept to pass. 
So clean water is going to be as close as you can get to zero. And, you know, a 30 here, it's, it's not ideal. Um, not trying to say it's unsafe, but if you can get something better, choose the better option. Uh, a really great example of why this works for us is that we have fish. So we know we can't use, fish are extremely sensitive to dissolved solids. And we can't use this water for the fish. Even after we, de we dechlorinate it, that just tells us it's not a good fish water source. So using the spring water will have a great source as well. So this tool, this tool is very essential for many different industries. Here is Deer Park water, 100% natural spring water. Okay, so we just wanna show you comparison how that is. So we got a zero reading right here. And stir, if you look at that, the Marshall, North Carolina was two parts per million. This is three parts per million. So this right here is telling you that Deer Park is using, oh, turned off on us, has an automatic turn off feature, that's nice. Deer Park uses a true natural spring water and this is not this does not have a lot of additives in it. So this right here is a great tool to tell you if your spring water has additives. Alright, let's test Fiji water. This really expensive, <laughs> highly sought after artesian well water. Oh my gosh. So let's uh that's reading 121 parts per million. That is not even acceptable by the EPA. So oh I just use this on the rag. Okay, so let's let's just double check. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna damp it. I don't wanna I don't wanna touch the prongs with it. Alright, let's just try it again. Alright, so we're still reading in the 36 range. 35. Okay. Let's go back to Fiji. 134, 35, 136 parts per million dissolved solids. So again, let's oh look at gosh. this chart again. Zero to 50 is acceptable for drinking. Carbon filtration can yield sometimes 50 to 100. Very hard water is gonna be up here close to 200, okay? This right here, Fiji, this expensive artesian water has very high parts per million. So it makes you wonder what is in this water. It doesn't seem very clean. All right, so we'll go ahead and test this final water here. This is smart water. And we are at 21 parts per million. 20 parts per million, 19 parts per million, 20, 19. All right, so there you go. So this shows you how essential this tool is. If you can't get access to spring water from the source, this will help you discover which brand is actually going to be a safe choice for you. This is an essential tool right here, and it is definitely working very effectively. I highly recommend you get one. Okay, so now I just got done showing you the total dissolved solids. Now we're going to use the conductivity uh, portion. Uh, or now we're going to use the conductivity side of the meter. <clears throat> so we're going to turn it on. And now, now we're in the total dissolves Fahrenheit. And we're going to switch to conductivity, the EC. Siemens per centimeters. So this measures the basically the level of salt in the solution or uh, the level of metal. So basically this is measuring your, in generally your metal salt content of water or other types of water-based solutions. So the average acceptable level of conductivity for drinking water is about 5.5. So here we're measuring 63 in Asheville City water. So we got a high metallic salt content. Okay, now let's go ahead and measure the charcoal filter water. 56. Measuring the spring water from North Carolina mountains, 
measuring a four. Okay, so we're below the average acceptable of 5.5. This is the Deer Park water, measuring a six, slightly above. Fiji water, 263. So we definitely have quite a bit of not only dissolved solids, but we have a pretty high content of salt metals. Okay, let's test our smart water now. Forty-four. So this is a really good tool and it's gonna help us helps us see here exactly what is in our water.